Hey everyone, Marion here. Welcome back to my channel. Today I have a video for you guys all about my pregnancy diet and what I eat in a day. So I am currently seven months pregnant. Show you guys quickly the bump. And, and I am on a pretty strict pregnancy diet at the moment. I gained a lot of weight during my first trimester and unfortunately my doctors told me that that was all the weight I should gain during the whole pregnancy, which is very unfortunate. Um, but. I had a really, really rough first trimester and eating was like the only thing that could get me through it. So I really don't regret my choices because I don't even feel like they were choices. I, it was like what my body needed to survive those very difficult weeks. So the baby and everything is just measuring really, really big. And um, even though it's mostly genetic and there's nothing I can really do, my doctors have told me that that the best thing to do is to limit carbs and sugars as much as possible um, to hopefully not be giving birth to like a 12 pound baby. <laughs> so um, I don't know if anyone else is in a similar situation or had some more advice from their doctors. If you did, I'd love to hear it below. But for the past few months, I have been on this pregnancy diet. I've been sharing lots of photos on my Instagram stories to keep me accountable, and I've actually really enjoyed it, and I felt so good being on this diet. I love carbs and love sugar, and I think it's a combination of moving into the second trimester and eating super healthy has just made me feel really, really good. So of course, anyone who's pregnant should follow their doctor's advice, but I think in general, <laughs> reducing carbs and sugars and adding as much vegetables as possible to your diet is probably a good thing. <laughs> um, I'm also supposed to be limiting my fruit because it has a lot of sugar. Otherwise, I would be eating way more of it because I love fruit too. So yeah, let's jump in. I'll show you guys what I eat this whole day. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Marion. I make videos about being a Jewish mom and I upload on Mondays and Thursdays and we live in a kosher style home, which means most of the food you're going to see is going to be kosher. I also eat plant strong, which is um, which just means that I try to have as much plant and plant protein in my diet, don't eat a lot of meat. So that's kind of what you're going to see in the diet. So yeah, I hope you guys like it. If you do, please make sure to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel down below. Good morning guys, so I wanna show you what I've got going on for breakfast. I am totally a like sweet over savory for breakfast type person. I cannot have eggs like first thing in the morning. Apologies for the background noise. What's going on in Mac Chuck's wheels fall? Oh my goodness, oh guys, crisis over here. So this is my little setup. Basically I am having Greek yogurt for breakfast. This is the Chobani non-fat plain Greek yogurt, the 0% one. And then on top of it, I'm gonna put a few blueberries, uh, one date that I'll chop up. I have flax seeds and chia seeds. I sprinkle about like a teaspoon on top of the yogurt. And then just for flavor, I'll put a tiny bit of peanut butter, like maybe a half teaspoon. And then with breakfast, I like to have part of my um, vitamins. I take extra folic acid, extra vitamin D, and extra calcium. I'll have my prenatal vitamin sometime later in the day. And then uh, I wasn't planning on doing a toddler, what my toddler eats in a day, but because I've got his breakfast out here anyways, I'll just show you guys that. So if I can continue throughout the day, that's a bonus. So for breakfast, Max is having mini pancakes with um, peanut butter and Nutella and blueberries, grapes, and some milk. So I just made my little yogurt creation and with it I'm having a big glass of water. I am so bad about drinking water just in general and in pregnancy. I try so hard but I'm just not good at it. Um, but but I, I bought these um, stainless steel straws on Amazon. I'll link them below and they really help. So yeah, breakfast time. So it's about 11.30 now. The dogs are just waking up from their morning nap because they've been sleeping all morning. Yes, you. Shoe. but um we've been out of the house we've been doing stuff right max yeah. oh yeah we've been building houses for all of our cars hey where'd we go this morning that's right so it's almost lunchtime, and i have this lunch i'm about to show you guys 
almost every day. <laughs> um, it's a sandwich. I am not vegan, by the way. I, I just really don't like eating meat very often. Um, so I buy a lot of like vegan products and I really like them and prefer them. So um, I do eat like cheese and yogurt and stuff. And I will have meat on occasion, especially if I don't have to cook it. Um, but I, we do eat a lot of vegetarian and vegan stuff in our house. So I am making a sandwich today for my lunch. I like using Ezekiel bread. Um, it's low in calorie and it's got good vitamins in it. It's 80 calories a slice. It has no sugar. It has four grams of protein and some pretty good vitamins. So that's the bread I go with if I'm going to be having bread. And then for like the meat of the sandwich, I use this Light Life white bean and kale slice. <laughs> um, three slices are 90 calories and have 11 grams of protein. And I really like the taste of them. I know some people like really don't like this kind of stuff, but I love it. Then um, I'm going to put a little bit of cheese. We just got this big hunk of Jarlsberg at the grocery store. Um, and this harissa, this is like just a spicy topping. It's um, actually Middle Eastern. That's where that name comes from. And then some mustard. This is Fabinase. It's vegan mayonnaise. I actually really like it. So if um, mayonnaise weirds you out or you're a vegan, I would really recommend this brand. We buy it at Whole Foods. And then I'll just add a lot of spinach to it. And then for my son's lunch, at the grocery store we got a rainbow bagel, which he has already had a bite of. So we're going to have that with cream cheese and an orange. Okay, so we just finished eating lunch and now I'm going to have my cup of coffee for the day. I actually am still only drinking decaf. I found that having it right after lunch is nice because then I don't get that same like really dip of exhaustion after eating. I'm sure it's all a placebo effect because it's decaf, but either way, it's working for me. So for my coffee, I use oatly milk. This is oat milk, it's a uh, vegan again. And then we have an espresso machine. Um, I don't know what flavor the pods are, but the ones with the red um, little circles on them are the decaf ones. Oh, and of course I've got my California Starbucks mug. Okay, so it's a little bit later on. I've mostly finished my coffee, but I still have a little bit left. Um, but I am having a little bit of like dessert. Um, I'm having one of these protein cakes so I know this is not the best thing to have but it only has one gram of sugar I'll show you what they look like I only um, oh yep yeah, this one's open from yesterday so they come in a pack of two they're by Think Thin and I'll have um, one of these in the day and for one package it has 170 calories which is definitely a lot but um, so I'm having half of that and instead of the 12 grams of protein, I'm getting six, but there's no, uh, or practically no sugar. There's definitely still some carbs in here though, so it's a treat. Um, so yes, yeah, so that's my treat of the day. Um, obviously, it'd be better not to have anything like that at all, but I'm only human. I love sweets and sugar and carbs, and it's really, really hard for me to reduce them in my diet. So I just let myself have that one treat with my coffee in the afternoon. Hey guys, so my son is down for his nap. I did pop a little bit of makeup on because I'm gonna film some videos, including the intro to this one that you will have hopefully already watched. And I'm going to have my prenatal vitamin right now. I don't know why, but I keep it on my desk and I like to have it um, with water at the end of my coffee in the afternoon. It's just like the place I remember to take it. I don't know why I separate it from the other vitamins, but I do, so it's time for that. So it's a little bit later on in the afternoon, although I have not moved. <laughs> I've been at my desk working, um, so I got a little bit hungry, and this is my snack. I am having a little bit of like Skinny Pop style popcorn and a half an apple. Hey guys, so it's about 5 o'clock, I think, 5 10, and I'm going to get started making dinner. Some nights we just like eat yogurt and leftovers. Some nights I cook a whole meal. It just depends what we got going on. Um, but tonight I have energy to cook, so I'm gonna show you guys what we're making. So I'm doing spaghetti squash instead of pasta, 
with pasta sauce and then I'm going to add tomatoes to it and these are vegan sausages from Trader Joe's they're really good ones so I'm gonna um, cook those up and it'll be like a pasta dish I'll show you how it looks when it's done and then to go with it we've got this cauliflower fr cauliflower crust pizza from Trader Joe's as well and then for the pizza, instead of doing like um, sauce and cheese as well, um, we're doing salad on a pizza. So I have one of these ready packs. I think this is from Target. I don't usually buy groceries there, but I feel like this is where we got it this weekend. Can't remember, but it's a kale protein salad. So we'll serve it on top of the pizza with the spaghetti squash dinner. Okay, so it's about 45 minutes later. Um, it's a very easy dinner to prep. It just takes time to cook it in the oven. So I'll show you guys what it looks like. So this is the ready-made salad. This is the cauliflower pizza crust, and this is the fake pasta. This, yeah. this is the spaghetti squash pasta with um, the vegan sausage and some tomato sauce and grilled tomatoes. For anyone who hasn't done spaghetti squash before, I'll just show you guys how it comes out of the oven. It's like this, and you just shred it with a fork. It looks, it looks like pasta. <laughs> um, and this is extra vegan sausage and cauliflower pizza. So yeah, time for dinner. So that is everything I eat in a day. I hopefully will not eat anything else the rest of tonight. If so, I'll let you guys know. Um, sometimes I end up having like a little orange, one of those little mini oranges, around like nine o'clock, but that's it. So yeah, I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, please make sure to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel down below. I'll see you next time, bye.